Hello everyone, my name is Sahand and welcome back to another lesson. Today is going to be our second lesson uh, for the basic English language. So, uh, once again I want to welcome back the beginners of this lesson for another topic which is easy but useful also. So, before we go into our topic, as usual, before the topic starts, I want to recall what we studied and also uh, a question for each individual. So, our question uh, today will be, what is your favorite food? But before uh, talking about this, think about it. Now we will recall what we studied last lesson. Last lesson we studied about talking, give to go. So talking has different ways or different interpretations. We can mean about greetings, a small talk, uh, ending a small talk, or like um, the ways of saying goodbye. So let's talk about some ways of a greeting. So greeting can start with a simple hello, hi, or hey, which means slow. In these uh, three ways, it has the same meaning. Or we can go into a formal way of saying good morning, good afternoon, or good evening, which means bani bash, bash nuro bash, wa iwara bash. Also, we can recall that starting a small talk always mostly starts with how are you Masha how are you which means to need to need okay and also in Kurdish you say ahwal tuna right so how are you means to need so they will start as hello how are you now also we can say uh, in a formal way, how are things? Right? Or in an informal way, what's up? What uh Okay means this uh, this has a meaning. So, but uh, we can say that how are you is a neutral way of starting your talking. Uh, and also how are things is a formal way and what's up is an informal way. Okay? Now proceeding, sometimes we don't understand uh, our reader or basically if I can say our talker. So we say, I'm sorry, I don't understand. Could you please repeat that? Which means, Dawli burden min tenagam aya datwanit dubari bkaitawa and tka datwanit dubari bkaitawa. So this is a very nice and polite way of responding and uh, further discussing your talking. Shiwaki, am shiwaziki, zozor, bavrin, bareza, zor zor, rezitida, wa etwanid, ziatir, legal sakirni, wa yan guftugo. Now, sometimes uh, you want to go to the end or you're going to reach the end of your talking and you want to try to close the talking, you know, you want to try to close the conversation. And that's it. So, what do we say? Have a good day. Have a good day, which means what? Have a good day. It means kata ki khosh, yan roja ki khosh, right? That's it. So this is a very nice way of polite and formal way of uh, going to the end of your conversation and trying to end it. Or we can say it in an informal way. Catch you later. Hey, I'll catch you later. Tadwater dadimo. Catch you later. 
So also ending our conversation like completely, we can say either bye or if it's night, good night. Any Watlagol Yahut show shad. Okay? So that's what we studied last lesson. This lesson we'll talk we'll talk about if you are not the talker, if you're going if you are the responder. Responding and Awzara Katuk Sakarni to Kadzabi de Daytua. Blind Tun Zabi Bdaytua. Tun Zabi Sakir Bdaytua. This is our second lesson. So responding greetings in an informal way and a formal way. As we can see, we can say hello, hey, or hi, which means the same thing slow, slow, slow. So hey can either be hey bro or hey sis. Of course, these are an abbreviation of brother and sister. So it's basically in Kurdish, say slow brakum, slow khushkakum. Okay? So it means the same thing. In a formal way, we can say good morning to you too. Someone tells me good morning, I'll say good morning to you too. What is Bani Baj Bo Ewash? And Bani Ewash Bash. Bash Amazyatar Laruy. Larushnauka Bamshiwazi Agana. Amazyatar Laruy Ksakit and Bani Ewash Bash. Good afternoon to you too. Bash New Rotan Bash Bo Ewash. And Bash New Rotan. Bash. At one her batania bri bani bash by my shows. Balam bash ter beshiwazaki formak of sake to you to bakavi. Okay. Yani, I mean, it's good to also use to you too. You can you can respond by only saying good morning, but to you too is a better and formal way of responding. Or the same thing with good evening to you too. What a Ewartan Bash, Boyosh. Ewari, Ewa, Bash. Okay. Responding to small talks. Okay. So I will uh, postpone the question to the end of the lesson. I think it's a more suitable time. So responding to small talks. How are you? You may say, I'm okay, or I'm alright, or I'm fine. In Kurdish, Okay, all right, fine. It means basha and basham, basham, basham. Okay, if I'm going to say I'm okay. So this is a very neutral way of responding. You know, someone tells you, "Hello, how are you?" You may say, "Yeah, I'm okay. I'm fine. I'm good," or "I'm all right." You know, you're good. You're you're not that bad. It's most time. How are things? Which is a formal way. You may say, "I'm fine." Thanks. How about you? Min basham spas. Tuna level two. Or you may say, I'm doing well, and you? Min basham mutosh. Good. How about you? Good. How about you? Basha to tuna. This is these two, the, the endings. The first one, the last one are used the most. Especially the first one. Now, if we use the informal way, what's up? You may say just the usual you, or all good here, what about you? So just the usual you means so this is the same thing in English you say just the usual you or you can say hum, uh, all good here what about you this is the informal way formal neutral now responding to the end of the conversation let's see how it is have a good day have a good day Okay, and catch you later. We talked about these two. Have a good day. You may say, thank you, you too. Thank you, you too. Which means, spas tosh. Or, that's very kind of you. Same to you. Have a great day. Okay, 
This is very long, but it's very polite, to be honest. This is the most used, of course. Thank you, you too. You can use only that one, which I think is more suitable for the beginner level. Also, catch you later. Catch you later, which means at Binmoa. Okay? You may say you too. You too, which means tosh. In Bahama, she was tosh. Okay? This is used a lot in Quidditch also. At Binmoa. Responding to goodbye. Let's see how this is uh, responded. Okay. The, so as we talked about, it may be good night if it's night. You may say thank you, good night to you too. Show shot. Spas, show tan bash bo ewash. Or you may say bye, which means hua uh, hafiz, which is basically almost the same thing. You may say spas, watosh. Thank you, you too. Okay? So this is used a lot, but if it is night, this is a better way of saying goodbye. So I think that covered up the lesson here. Now we'll go to our question. So my, the question was, what is your favorite dish or what is your favorite food? Okay, and why do you like it? So, for example, my favorite dish is biryani. Biryani is our traditional uh, food in Kurdistan. And it's uh, a mixture of different things together, which has its own proper taste. Why do I like it? Because every spoon you taste, uh, you take has a different taste. Okay, so that is basically my lesson today, my question also. Uh, that should cover up everything for uh, talking and or basically starting a conversation and ending it while you are the talker and the responder at the same time. So I hope that uh, covered everything up and have a good day. Goodbye.